Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another miniature painting tutorial. Uh, this this week I'm going to show you how to make your Space Marine veterans uh, look a little bit more uh, uh, look a little bit better on the table and just be really easy. Um, I use the Zenithal priming method on this miniature. It basically just simulates how light's going to hit it, uh, but we're not worried about that. Um, we're just going to get him painted, or her, who knows. I'm not sure what law you have for your space marines, but who knows. Oh yeah, your space marines don't have to follow law, especially if they're your own chapter. So what you want to do, uh, we're going to kind of do a... Silver Skull chapter. The Silver Skull is a really easy paint scheme to do. Uh, um, this is kind of my own variation, but um, I do have one as a work in progress up here for my own purposes, but it'll be around something like this. Uh, so let's get started. Now since this model is already primed, I'm not going to bother with priming, and uh, I know that my brushes are a little frazzled, but I uh, lost my train of thought, um, but I work with what I have, and frankly, if anybody wants to complain to me about brushes, well then feel free to buy me some okay because I don't have a lot of money <laughs> but yeah you just want to get a really nice even coat of silver on the majority of the model um, look, he's coming off of his uh, attack isn't very good on this yeah uh, apologies about that I would the tack is not very good on this stand, I have to apologise. I'll do a base thing for him, a tutorial on basing for him as well, as a bit of a bonus like I did for my last Space Marine. But yeah, let's get him painted. If you can, try to leave the helmet a bright colour. If you can do it, if you're doing your priming uh, as a... Uh, if you're doing your priming with a brush, uh, then try to keep the helmet a light colour because we are going to keep it that colour. As for the armour uh, parts that are really really pretty like the wings and all of that we'll try to keep those bright as well but you don't have to, it's not necessary to, um, to really do any of that but we just want to get a nice even base coat I don't know, making sure it's not leaking. Uh, this might not be, I'm using lead belcher, but just use a gun metal colour. Or if you're really crazy, go for non-metal metallics. But I don't have the time, patience, or will. Uh, not necessarily to say skill, just... This method's a little bit easier, it'll get your marine on the table quicker, and uh, he'll be real, real nice. But yeah, this is kind of a, a quick and dirty kind of paint job, just really fast, you know. I know there are some people screaming at me that, you know, use a wet palette or, you know, don't do it straight out of the pot, but 
This is how I paint, and if anybody has any quarrels, they can go to another channel. Perfectly okay with that. I would time lapse these, but I feel as if you learn along with me if I do the full painting process full with errors and mistakes and dumb ideas because let's face it if we don't learn together then we won't be learning now will we because this is a learning experience for both of us um, also uh, Feel free to say in the comments if you like the top-down view more than the uh, the uh, the view where the model is more like this. But, uh, you, you just want to get a really even, you know, coat of. Uh, you don't have to leave everything that I've said to stay light white, but it's a good idea to undercoat it with that. So when you you end up painting those lighter colours on it's not going to be so much of a hassle to uh, to build up from because you know these models are really easy to prime and base because it's mostly silver and silver if you're thinking about just wanting to get your space marines on the table the easiest colour to make look really really nice is silver or gunmetal because it's just it's it's pretty straightforward if you want if you have metallic paints. Uh, I used to have a chapter, um, the Blue Raiders. It was just a ugh. <laughs> Those of you who know me from Twitter will tell you that um, yeah, it wasn't it was not good, but it was quick. And that was kind of the method, was just getting those models on, on the shelves and the table in, in the drawer real quick. And done and nice to look at. But yeah, silver is a really good colour to kind of accentuate detail um, on your model, especially if it's a space marine. Uh, uh, Space Marine armor is tends to have lots of little edges on it, especially uh, especially this pattern. It's not it's not quite as a, there's a couple of um, blotchy spots on this model just because he is a very beat up model. Uh, God, I've had him since 2017, I want to say. No, it might be earlier than that, 2016 probably, but um, just now I decided to get around to painting him because, frankly, if there's a camera pointed at me, then there's pressure on me to get the model done. So there's a pretty good silver base coat uh, for the most part. I see one little spot there that I missed. That's white, but we're going to wash the silver um, in a moment, so just a second, let's get all those little cracks and crevices that we missed, and go, so, you see, doesn't that make your model look really pretty when it's hit, the light hits it? Now, we're... I'll come back when he is dry. Okay, he should be dry by now. So, now what we are going to do is wash the model with non oil. So, I should probably have had that out earlier. Uh, this is what it looks like, by the way should probably have been showing the paints and their names, but you can easily recreate this with a little bit of acrylic black and some water. Uh, just, 
Um, there's a bit more added to the Nuln Oil than um, would be a normal, you know, acrylic made wash. Oop, bubble there. But yes, this is going to make the gun metal just a bit darker. Just enough to where it'll bring out the silver skull that you're gonna. Or y y you'll see. <laughs> I'm not gonna really describe what a wash does. If you don't know what a wash is, well, uh, I should probably do a painting tutorial on just the basics, but I don't know. I'm not very good at teaching basics, I'm good at teaching methods such as this, where I show you to get your space marines or your orcs or your Eldar or your Imperial Guard on the table. No, I'm not calling them Astra Militarum, Imperial Guard sounds cooler. Um, but get any really 40k army on the table, and I'll probably do a series on D&D. &D. It's just the fact that I'm not very good at painting medieval miniatures, because they have lots of pretty colours, and I like dark, gritty, dirty, realistic miniatures, not really beautiful ones. My miniatures look disgusting, but that's on purpose. That's on purpose if you see my orcs. I mean, I have a little setup here. There's a shelf or a little uh, display case just on my desk of all the models that we have done videos on. And, uh, well, I hope to have it filled by the, some time. I'm not gonna, I don't want to set a time limit on myself because. Um, if I don't meet that, then well, I'll catch, I'll catch some flat for that. But yeah, that's basically what you want to do is just wash in. And uh, honestly, you're pretty close to done, so we'll come back when that wash is dry. N well, not pretty close to done, but we're pretty far along. We're actually further along than I expected us to be. So. I'll come back when that wash is done. Well, that took way longer than I thought it was going to. Washers take a long time to dry. That's the only annoying part about them. But, don't worry. Uh, also, if the perspective has changed just a little bit, I'm sorry, but my little setup here decided to fall over. So, now what we are going to do is paint all the parts at required to be black. Now normally for this paint scheme, uh, again I'll pull up the one that I was working on as an example, um, for this paint scheme most of the time the shoulder pads are black, but since uh, he is a veteran and really, you know, really beefy, beautifully designed, uh, we'll, we'll paint them something else, don't worry. Just most of the parts that are going to end up being, uh, you know, like the little vents in between his armour, or, uh, you know. Normally I'd paint these like a gun metal, or, you know, dry brush them a gun metal, but, um, because the figure is gun metal, I will do this to kind of accentuate the... Um, the contrast just a bit. Uh, well, I, I could, you could also go with like a black and dry brush grey, but you know, do whatever. You don't have to follow everything that I do, just you do you. I don't think that's, oh uh, yeah, it's done. I have to grab, I have a big tube of uh, acrylic, black, 
instead of a nice game to look shop pop because I use black more than any colour so I need a lot of it mostly because it's just kind of easy to you know paint the guns black and then kind of dry brush silver to make it look beat up or you know I mean um yeah I'll show you something in a second uh, it's a work in progress that I probably should have done a video on but just as an example as to why black is useful um, for um, just mostly just mostly things that you're kind of confused about what colour to to paint uh, of course most of the things I show you on these videos are works in progress say for the, the thing at hand but um, it's kind of just to give examples of things that I do and um, but, you know, probably shouldn't have painted that part black but it's okay I think the gun might just stay black uh oh I just realised just now that I've been using the wrong brush that's why I was having trouble Really need to have some like brush cleaner from Hobby Lobby. There we go. And there went my bottle of paint. Hang on, I can't have to pick that up. So there we go. Oh, that feels good to use that. That sounded oddly sensual. Didn't mean it to, but it did. <sighs> right, I think. Yeah, just the gun and the little vents on his armour. Uh, all we really need to do with it again. This is like a super quick paint job. Super quick. This one might only be two parts. Or one part if I can edit the video together. Uh, depends if my camera decides to mess with the file size or make it corrupt. I hope that you guys can see that. Hang on. Let's get a little bit of a closer view. I just want to make sure that the video is as clear as possible. That's pretty good. Oh no. Here we go. Much better. So, you'll have your model here. Hmm. Again, I'm a bit of an amateur at this whole video thing. Uh, so we can have the camera up like this. Go. So now, I mean, the zoom in's important because this is the detail part. It's okay if you get a little messy. You can just sop it off with another brush. That's why I always have a second one on hand, just to kind of pick up paint I don't want the see wish I'd known that earlier huh so now that you've gotten all the parts that are black painted black um, I'll work on the gun later don't, just don't freak out don't have don't have an aneurysm over me um, you want to get because I'm going to do sort of a, a highlighting effect on this. So you want a dark red. Tuscan red from Apple Barrel is a really good undercoat for red highlights. You kind of want to get that colour. Really dark, really just kind of almost muddy red. Uh, you can usually get this by mixing brown in with red. But this is going to be your base coat for the parts that will red 
and I don't necessarily think that the silver skulls have uh, red. Um, I'd have to look at the Space Marine book, but um, I like to add red uh, because it is a very easy colour to make beautiful looking, just like silver. It's really easy, stands out a lot, and it just makes that model just a little bit more appealing to the eye. Just one second. Uh, the little skull on top of his head. You want to go? Oh, technical difficulties. You want to get the little skull on top of his head and just all the little details. You don't necessarily have to use this same model. This model's a bit of a kit bash. Um, it'll work on most any Space Marine veteran so for example uh, I'll show another but um, yeah oh and what I was saying about black uh, basically um, if you aren't sure what colour to paint oh, sorry not sure what color to paint a like a vehicle um, it depends if you're doing orc vehicles for example and a space marine vehicle is a bit different but usually you could just do black with a lot of um, silver dry brushing and you know different metallic color dry brushing to make it look like it's been damaged a lot so for example um, my my kind of garbage orc tank here um, uh, to kit bash. It's a bit of a, you know, it's an old army tank uh, from a toy set I had when I was a kid, but I turned it into an orc set. But you just use different colours to kind of accentuate that it is a pile of garbage. Um, and, you know, you, you should do that with your guns, like this, uh, to kind of give them more personality. Kind of like on this big fella here. Um, his gun is, you know, really beat up, really dingy. It's got an old design on it, but it's so beat up you can hardly see it. It's got oil splotches. It's, you know, you have to kind of accentuate details on your model to make people look at it and go, whoa, he's been through some stuff. But, again, um, with a veteran like this, the reason I'm not doing too much detail on this gun is because it's supposed to be clean. It's supposed to be very, uh, very clean, very maintained, you know. But with an orc or an, an infantry soldier, it, it wouldn't be as, as, as well maintained because they're out on the field. or well, the veterans will only come in if, you know, really needed and... and then, you know, blah blah blah, law stuff. Um, but yeah, you just want to get this dark red in there, and you'll see why in just a minute. Oh, I don't know, I might paint that skull there a different colour just to accentuate it. Probably going to do the same silver that's on the, the helmet. Possibly for that one. We'll paint them red if they don't end up looking very good. Oh, that reminds me. Actually, turns out I missed a few things with the black. So it looks like we can do this to actually still have the shoulder pad technically be black. Like in the um, book. You know, always, see, my issue with people painting out of um, the Space Marine chapter book, uh, 
or uh, not, not chapter book, but the the book that shows you all the different chapters is that uh, a lot of the time they don't particularly tend to take as much liberty as they should with uh, like see uh, my fella here he might not follow the chapter scheme exactly but he, you know somebody still look at you know his helmet or and go oh that's a silver skull when he's done of course don't touch the model like I'm doing I'm just doing that to keep him on I'm doing a really poor decision right now to be honest Pack is really bad. Should not have that. Okay, we're going to move the camera just a little bit closer to me, just so I don't. I apologise. I'm uh, kind of focused on two things right now, so it's a little bit different. This this uh, tutorial is going to be a bit a bit more he not hectic, just kind of unfocused oh, gosh darn okay I keep seeing the miniature from my perspective not yours I apologize I try not to strain my eyes when I'm doing this so it can be a little bit hard for dear old gent to kind of you know, see the... Oh yeah, if there are areas of your model that are black, like that, uh, especially if you've used Zenithal, don't worry about it too much. But I'm going to be obsessive and get that spot that I missed. Yes, remember there's always room for tidying. If you miss just a little bit of your model, that's okay. Um, silver Skull is also really good for weathering because silver is such a prominent, beautiful colour that, say, if it were muddy or, you know, burned or, or, uh, uh, you know, shot at, scoffed, beat up, it'd be, you know, really noticeable. There we go. Okay, so, I think that'd be good. I don't know, mm, no, I'm still going to paint that red. Just because I'm not sure what colour would look good. I didn't exactly have too much of a game plan. I'm going to leave the skull though. Just because it's going to end up becoming silver. Uh, or I'm going to make it look silver. Probably leave this cup or make it gold. The little cup that this little guy. It's a little angel of death here is holding I'll probably leave I'll leave it as is but I'll paint a little blood drop uh, probably put some uh, blood for the blood god on that just make it look like real blood not that it is but just kind of make it look like it's a jewel or something ah uh couple of details I missed on the backpack just because I don't pay attention to those as much as I should I don't know I never did like painting the backpacks I always thought it was kind of well not necessarily boring it's just kind of a chore to me but if you like painting the backpacks go ahead it's just I've never really um, you know, it, it's always the thing that I always put the least effort into, and it's not it's not necessarily on purpose. It's just kind of like it's easily forgotten about uh, for me. But that's me. Who knows? Backpack might be your favourite part. Get that off there. 
remember there's always room for tidying up so if you make some mistakes don't worry just paint over it but don't paint too much over it hmm. so he's not looking bad but there are still a few little nitpicks I have just about the general thing some details I missed again you know do everything in one step don't be as difficult as I am because I tend to have problems with paying attention I'll work on his gun last because it'll be easier So I'm going to wait for the red to dry and then I'll do some highlights on that and then um, we'll finish this model up. Okay, the red should be dry. I know there's a bit of silver shining through in a couple of parts, but don't worry about it. Just don't do what I did. <laughs> um, you know, fast and red, something bright. Uh -uh. And you just kind of want to, I'm using the same brush because um, I'm going to try not to get in the crevices, but it's okay if I do. Because, you know, you kind of, kind of treat it like a dry brush, but not really. Just a highlight. So, it's kind of, kind of, kind of scrape your brush across. Try not to get into the crevices, almost the opposite of a wash. Just kind of scrape your brush across rather than actually getting in there. And again, it's okay if you got to do this a couple of times to accentuate the colour. But, it look good when you're done. Sorry, I'm not. Sorry, I was quiet there for a moment. I just kind of zoned out and started painting. But you just want to guide yourself along. You know, don't you know? Don't always rely on me for this stuff. You know. Just remember, the most important thing for model painting is experimenting. You have to know what works and what doesn't. And, and learn by experience rather than... You know, if you're a... If you're the type to learn by a one and done type scenario that's not exactly how this is going to work you have to experiment you have to play with things you have to make sure that this works and this doesn't work you can't be afraid to do things you can't be afraid to play with the structure of things can't be afraid to, you know, can't be afraid to mess around with the established order of, you know, how this thing should be painted or how I have painted this thing in the past. You have to kind of, you got to step out of your comfort zone all the time in this hobby. 
Um, and that's what I did for this model. I never, uh, not this model, but this this method. Um, and I found that yeah, it actually makes my Space Marine uh, veterans look really, really good. So I tend to use this on most of the ones that I want to make look really nice, or just get out on the table. Same thing with the last Space Marine video, um, the, the Blood Angels uh, infantry unit, or the, the Blood Angels um, tactical marine. That model was a method that I previously did not like because I used to not use red. But I, start, I decided, hey, let's make a squad of red miniatures, you know, red soldiers, and I ended up turning it into about. It was a good. 10, 12 of them? I'm trying to think. But mostly it was all experimenting with different methods of making red look nice. Uh, the, you know, there's some guys with gloss on them, others with no gloss, some with, some with, you know, lighter red, darker red, different washes, all sorts of stuff. Because red is a magnificent colour. I'm going to take a bit of a watery grey that I have, it's, it's almost a wash, I just, I need to get into the circle around that skull, kind of just, uh, do this, you can do this with a black wash too, but I just need to get in there. And watch this little trick. Wow, oh, magic. Okay. Oop. I missed a bit there. One second. One momento. There we go. Again, you're going to have to do multiple layers on this to make it look uh, a bit more presentable. But, don't worry. Take your time. I'll come back when that's dry. 